Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I've got a short little video just showing you guys how to implement an FPS counter in Battlefield 2042, or what I think is the best way of doing so, and also how to limit your FPS. Obviously, this is only going to be applicable to PC players, but it is a problem I recently ran into, and I found a good solution for it, so I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. Alright, first of all, let's talk about FPS counters. There is no FPS counter built into Battlefield 2042, but if you're playing on Steam, you're probably already using the Steam built-in one. However, for me, I was on Origin. Origin had a actually fantastic built-in FPS counter, but unfortunately now that program has been made obsolete, the EA app has taken over, and as far as I know, there is no FPS counter in that app, so I've had to find a separate solution. And what I've gone over to now is using MSI Afterburner. And actually, after having made the switch, I have to say this is probably the best solution for any game out there. The first thing you need to do is go and download MSI Afterburner. It doesn't matter whether you have an Nvidia card or an AMD card, either will work. Once you've got that nice and installed, you want to come to settings and uh, yours will probably look different than mine because I'm using a different skin. And then you want to come to on-screen display. Now, if you end up in a situation where you can't see this tab here, that is probably because when you installed Afterburner, you unchecked the installation of Reva Tuner. You need to install both Afterburner and the Reva Tuner program for this to work. So once you've done that, head over to on-screen display here, and then you want to set a hotkey to toggle the on-screen display. So I've got mine as Control r nice and easy for me. Then you want to head into the Monitoring tab, and here you have all the different things that you can display within Afterburner, and you want to scroll down all the way to Frame Rate, and click this little box here that says Show in On-Screen Display. Uh, you can also customize the colors of it if you want to show more stuff than just frame rate You're free to do that, but for the purpose of this uh, little guide here I'm just going to show you guys how to enable the frame rate But if you wanted to show other things you can also go ahead and uh, select these and choose to show in the on-screen display as well Now if you just want to see the number in the corner of the screen saying how much FPS you have and you don't want to see the sensor name What you need to do is click override group name and what I found is putting in a hyphen here actually makes it show up as nothing at all. So then it will just say the number and um, the word FPS. Okay, when you're done with that, come back down to the taskbar here and you should find Reva Tuner running as well. And this is the best part about it. You can actually customize the size of it. So you can customize the size with this little slider here. You can change the position. You can put it exactly where you want it. It is a little bit finicky. You'll see you, you don't really notice it, but on my screen, I have it right in the top right corner there and you can move it on the horizontal axis with these two arrows or by typing in a value or vertically with these to and I do recommend playing around with that to get it just as you want it if you click on raster 3d here you can also change the font and the size and everything so it is definitely the most customizable FPS counter that I've found so far okay so this is what it looks like here in the corner of my screen as you can see it's very small very unnoticeable so for somebody like me who enjoys streaming and creating content and you don't want it to be too obvious you can display it in a very small manner and it's completely customizable as I say now a lot of you may say well you know I play on Steam so I don't need an FPS counter because Steam already has a great built-in one but it might be worth implementing this anyway because as you guys know if you're anything like me you might have different games on uh, different launchers like the epic games launcher or what have you and not all of these launchers have a built-in fps counter nor do all of the games that you're going to be playing so instead of having to faff around and figure out if the launcher or the game that you're playing has an fps counter you can just hit whatever hotkey you have within afterburner and enable it that way instead I know a lot of you guys may also, if you're running an NVIDIA card, use Shadowplay or the GeForce Experience uh, recording app there. And this one is okay, I used to use it, but I'll show you guys a little screenshot here and you can see just, you know, how uncustomizable it is really. You can only change which corner of the screen you want it to be displayed in. You can't change the size of it, the color and just this green color, the size of it, it doesn't really look that appealing to me. And if I'm streaming, I just don't really want my streamers to see that. It's, it's not very subtle and out of the way. Okay, so next thing I want to show you guys is actually how to limit your FPS in Battlefield 2042. And I know, I know, most of you are probably 
you know, battling trying to get your FPS higher rather than lower. But in my situation, I'm on a screen that's 144 hertz refresh rate. And a lot of the time, especially in the menu of Battlefield 2042, the game is just running balls to the wall at like 160, 170 frames. My PC is almost pegged and there's just no need for it to be running that high, especially not in the menus. So for me, 144 frames is fine. I do run the game with pretty much everything set to low graphics. So on my system, and it'll probably be similar if you have a fairly high-end system, I am getting more frames than that in some situations. Unfortunately, there is no way to limit your FPS without using VSync, I don't think, within Battlefield 2042. And uh, me personally, I like to run in borderless mode without VSync. So the best way to do that, if you have an NVIDIA card, is actually to come to the NVIDIA uh, control panel down here, and then we're going to go to manage 3D settings, go to program settings if you only want to set this for uh, Battlefield 2042, which you probably do. Select Battlefield 2042 and then you're going to scroll down to max frame rate and there you can put in whatever frame rate you desire. You know, you also may be somebody who is still gaming on a 60 hertz monitor. In that case, you don't want your computer to be running the game at like 100 FPS. There really is no need. And again, coming back to uh, MSI Afterburner here, if you're running an AMD card, you won't have NVIDIA settings. I don't really know anything about the AMD settings because I've never used that. But if you go back into Revertuner, you will notice there is a frame rate limiter here. And within Afterburner, you can also set a hotkey for that. So you can actively engage that limiter or disengage it with the press of a button. So I hope this helps somebody out there. I'm aware not many people will be looking for a way to limit their FPS in Battlefield 2042 or maybe even display their FPS, but I looked it up for myself. I couldn't find any videos out there on this matter, so I figured I'd better go and make one myself. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.